GRT at the time of this recording is seeing a bit of a breakdown move after making significant highs yesterday above the 0 0.2029 and at the time of this recording we have lost the 20 day MA here on the one hour chart flipping it back into resistance but we continue to hold above a significant key area of support above the 0 0.1882 and on today's video, I will be discussing an area 12 structure that is playing out here on the charts, give you my breakout target areas and also significant key areas of supports that you need to continue holding above. And for those of you that might want to take a trade on GRT, you can check out Bybit, which is giving you up to $20 in sign up bonuses. And you can also earn up to $30,000 in deposit bonuses. And getting back to the charts, I have this area 12 structure that I have been tracking since the 25th of July when we saw a bit of a breakdown move and afterwards we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that peaked in this area 12 count one. Then afterwards we started a bit of a breakdown move in an area 12 count two whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area which is an area that I came up with using the Fibonacci, connecting the Fibonacci from the low that you made on the 25th of July to that high, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.618, which is an area that you have now fully maximized. And at the time of this recording, you can all see that we have started to lose the Fib level 0 0.618, which is a significant key area of support. And if by any chances we totally lose that significant key area on the Fibonacci, then I will have the Fib level 0 0.78, which perfectly lies above the 0 0.1875 as my next key area of support. And as a result of that, I will be extending this target area that I have right here for that pullback in a second wave to the Fib level 0 0.78. And as long as we continue holding within this area over here, there are high chances that we are going to get another bounce back to the upside, break above significant highs that we have here on the charts in an impulsive area 12 count 3 to the upper side, whose minimum target areas can be given by connecting the trend-based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that area 12 count 1, then dragging the Fibs to the current low that we have at the moment in this area 12 count 2, giving me a minimum target area at the FIB level 1.618 which perfectly lies above the 0 0.2251 and in case we get one more new significant low in this area 12 count 2 then the new target the target areas for the third wave will change because I will have to drag the trend based Fibonacci to the current low that we have in that area 12 count 2 so this, is, this might not be the last low that we have in this area 12 count too. And there are high chances that in the next coming hours, we can get another breakdown move to give us one more new low in that second wave. And in case of such a movement, we also need to continue holding above support at the 0 .0, the 0 0.1882. Because if by any chance we lose that significant key area of support, there are high chances that we can easily see a total reset of the lows that we made on the 25th of July below the 0 0.1829. So that is the price action that I'm expecting here on the GRT chart for the next coming hours. And that's all for this video.